Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into modern naval tech, defense updates, or just curious about how countries like the Philippines are stepping up their game, you're in the right place. Today, we're taking a closer, honest look at the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150, the lead ship of the Philippine Navy's most advanced frigate class to date. It's sleek, missile-capable, and named after the national hero, but how powerful is it, really? Let's find out. The BRP Jose Rizal was commissioned into the Philippine Navy in 2020 and built by Hyundai Heavy Industries in South Korea. It's based on the HDF 2600 design, a modified version of South Korea's Incheon class frigate, tailored to meet the Philippines' specific needs. It's about 107 meters long, weighs around 2,600 tons, and can reach speeds up to 25 knots. It's powered by a CODAD system, that's combined diesel and diesel, and has a range of around 4,500 nautical miles, which makes it great for long-distance patrol missions. But here's the truth. While this ship looks modern and combat-ready, not all its systems are fully armed or activated. Many of its advanced weapon platforms are in a, fitted for but not with, configuration meaning the ship was built with the capacity to install things like surface-to-air missiles and advanced sensors, but due to budget constraints, those systems are either delayed or not yet installed. As of now, the Jose Rizal is equipped with a 76mm Oto Malara Super Rapid Gun, two 30mm secondary guns, and torpedo launchers. It can also operate a helicopter, usually the A-159 Wildcat, which is used for reconnaissance and anti-submarine warfare. In terms of radar and surveillance, it has a basic combat management system, sonar, and surveillance radar, but again, these systems aren't top of the line. They're functional, but not cutting edge. So, what's the big picture? Despite its limitations, this ship represents a major step forward for the Philippine Navy. It's taken part in joint military exercises like RIMPAC, gaining international experience and strengthening interoperability with allies. So, is the BRP Jose Rizal a game changer? Not yet, but it's a strong start, and a clear sign that the Philippines is working to build a credible, modern, and professional navy. If you found this video helpful or informative, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more defense and military tech content, and drop a comment below. What do you think the Philippines should focus on next in its naval modernization? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.